Hello, is this Mike? Yeah, I've just got your blood results back. Your kidneys are fucked. So that was an actual phone call I got from my doctor. I'm going to rewind and explain what happened. I've been taking creatine for years, to the point now where I don't even think about it. It's one of those things that I do automatically. I love it for the gym, but it's also been shown to have other benefits now. Anyway, I got a really worried phone call from my doctor because I went to get blood tests done. I'm a 40-year-old man now. Anyway, phoned me in a panic saying, Mike, your creatinine levels are through the roof. What is going on? And at first I was like, shit, maybe I'd be taking some ibuprofen for my sore back. And maybe I've really fucked my kidneys up. What I wasn't even thinking about is that creatine gets broken down into creatinine, which is a waste product that's supposed to be excreted by your kidneys. But if you're taking creatine, it's gonna be higher. But on a blood test, it can look like you've got signs of kidney problems when you don't really. So I stopped taking creatine for two weeks. I got my blood test back and the kidneys were back to normal. The kidneys were always normal. That wasn't the problem. It was the creatinine levels. So if you don't want a scared phone call from your doctor, stop taking creatine about two weeks before you get any blood test. You're welcome.